pharmaceutical manufacturers get data from numerous sources. Uh, there's, there's data aggregators, there's specialty pharmacies that they contract with directly. There's all types of entities that provide data. Up until recent times, a lot of the data has been, a lot, uh, a lot of the data has been um, overlapping. Basic time to fill, dispensing information, who the provider was, the address, whether it was being used to help compensate sales reps in the field or whether it was used to track the basic shipment of a, of a prescription and a product to a patient. Going forward, um, uh, there's going to be more and more need around data analytics to answer business questions. Why are certain things happening in the marketplace? Why is my patient that's on my brand being more adherent than another brand? Why are patients switching from one brand to another? Is it something to do with the payer and the formulary? Is it something to do with side effects? Is it something to do with some other reason? Uh, and up until now, there hasn't been consistent technology available in the mass market to try to track that complete patient journey to show what's happening and then to benchmark for a manufacturer against its competition uh, to see why things are moving in a more of a real time and to try to correlate the patient experience with what the, the, the doctor's office is saying in the office and what the providers in the pharmacy are also doing. So that type of data and that type of information above and beyond the typical purchasing and dispensing data seems to be needed more so than ever, especially as we start moving in to some of the more value or risk-based contracting opportunities where pharmacies are going to have to be in the middle of reporting between a pharma company and a payer to say a certain event did happen at a certain time and here are metrics that need to be reported.